Uh, hi. Today, I'm going to be answering the question, what happens when you add too little watercolor binder or too much watercolor binder? I'm going to start out by adding a little bit of watercolor binder. This is about a fourth of the amount of binder I would usually use. And as you can see, the pigment doesn't really absorb the watercolor binder and it kind of just turns into wet sand. And now I'm going to add my normal amount of watercolor binder. You can see when I mix it in, it kind of turns into like a frosting consistency, which is where you want it. And lastly, I'm just going to pour a crap ton of watercolor binder on this pigment and see what happens. It basically turns into like a syrup. And this paint is going to take a month to dry because of the amount of watercolor binder in it. It still turned out really pretty though, but let me know what you guys think.